Sarkeesian made his first appearance at the Big 12 Media Days in Arlington as the head coach of the well, Texas Longhorns. And one of the first questions he fielded and, and, is, did he take a look at the Longhorns football program as an outsider to figure out why things were not working in Austin since 2009? And has he discovered what some of the secrets might be? The point I've been trying to make is focus on us and what we're doing and not necessarily what didn't work before, but what are we going to do to make it work this time? Uh, and the point of all of that is we can't sit back and relax and think because we've got a great stadium, because we've got great resources, because we've got the five-star, four-star players that we just sprinkle a little magical fairy dust and all of a sudden we're a really good football team. When it comes to a new starting quarterback, Sarkeesian says he won't make a decision on either Casey Thompson or Hudson Card until training camp. O'Connor Panthers senior quarterback John Locke is a talented football player. The past two seasons, he's played receiver for the Panthers, catching 41 passes for 640 yards with six touchdowns. This season, he's QB1. But once he goes to the next level, he's going to line up as a tight end for Colorado State University. Last week, he verbally committed to the Rams, and yesterday, we asked him why. You know, like I said, I just I really fell in love with the coaching staff up there. The head coach, Coach, coach Adazio, really reminds me of my own head coach, Coach Molesky, and their position coach actually played in the NFL as a tight end, and so I feel like there's a lot of credibility there, and he's a really good guy, and so I feel like I can take my talents even further through Colorado State, and Colorado State's going to do some good things here in a couple of years. Locke is the second 2022 tight end commitment for CSU and the fourth Texas commitment for the Rams during this recruiting cycle. For the first time since the first loss of his boxing career, Mario Badio sat down with us yesterday. It's his first one-on-one -on -one interview since Cervante Davis TKO victor in the 11th round following his third knockdown of Badio. And Mario admitted he didn't even remember the second knockdown. He caught me with something I, I didn't even really see. And then, you know, that's the first time I got dropped. And uh, actually, I didn't realize I got dropped the second time until l later that, that night. Okay. Yeah, so like, to me, it felt like I just got dropped once and then um, again with the body shot. But um, like all, all that seemed like a blur, you know? I mean, it was the first time I'd ever touched the canvas. It was, uh, it was a new experience um, for me. You can hear more of our interview with Mario Barrios this Sunday night on Instant Replay. Feeling the pressure? Nah, that's funny. I, I don't have no pressure on me, man. I've been here so many times in my life. You know, I've been boxing since I was eight years old. That's funny. Unified world champion Jamil Charlo laughed at that question. He feels no pressure ahead of his title showdown with WBO <laughs> world champion Brian Castaño Saturday night at the AT&T Center. And they met face to face at the final press conference yesterday at the Thompson San Antonio Riverwalk. And in double A baseball, the missions beat the hook seven to five. The win ends an eight game road losing streak for San Antonio. All right, so I think they're what, 30 and 32 now? Yes. All right. A lot of season left. Absolutely. They can All still right. make a move. I like the way you're thinking. <laughs> Thanks, Larry. And speaking of moves, they got some over at SA Live today. Uh, yes, you're going to be moving on up with your bath or shower. Yeah, how about $10,000 in the win to do a whole makeover of that? Oh, That'd yes, nice. we are going to tell you how to score that. That would be like magic. Mm -hmm. Speaking of magic, David uh, Kovac is here with the Magician's Agency. And wow, you got your hands full. Uh, yes, I do. Sometimes I, I fool myself, my kid. <laughs> and those are just <laughs> stuck to your hand. Well, indeed, yeah. We'll get to the bottom of this curious mystery in just about a moment or so but um, yeah in the meantime I uh, like to say that amazing things happen every day yeah. All right. Speaking of magic, it takes more than magic to get in good shape. It takes hard work, right? Oh, yes. And Joseph Brooks from Next Level Personal Training is here. And you are going to box it up and put us through some moves, right? All right. right. And something very easy to do, even for beginners as well. Okay, after that, you're going to get a little bit hungry. And Sean Wen with Pinch Boil is here. And what you got for us? Got some Vietnamese noodle salad. Oh, nice, that's a fresh kind of, you know, summery vibe. And you're located downtown, but you've got a new location opening up, right? New location opening up in Alamo Heights. Okay, we're going to tell you exactly where that is and what's on the menu, and I can't wait to taste all of that. And of course, the Summer Olympics is coming up. We're going to tell you about a local athlete who is going to compete. Yeah, she is the oldest to be participating in judo for the American team, and uh, somebody who participates in judo is called a judoka. I know, I, I did not know that until you told me that earlier. Didn't know that, because Jen told me that. <laughs> and we got a big festival going on out here at Market Square, a lot today on this Friday edition. <laughs> All that and more when SA Live continues in just a few minutes.
never miss a story. Watch live or when you want. San Antonio's latest news and weather. Streaming free on KSAT TV. Right now on KSAT.com, a delivery driver in San Antonio going viral because he helped out a customer who needed a little assistance with like, a spider. Gwen Sanchez posted a video and a picture to Facebook of a spider hanging outside of her doorbell. She left a note for an Amazon delivery driver requesting that the driver put her package by the garage because of the spider. And she asked if the delivery person, in fact, could kill the spider. Well, he decided to help her out. And if you oh. want to check out this viral video, just head to KSAT.com. What a nice guy. Oh, my goodness. Ooh, got the heebie-jeebies. <laughs> All right. Well, for the remainder of the day and into Saturday, we're really only going to have sunshine with some Saharan dust present on the horizon. Again, not a particularly dense cloud, but it's going to be there. And by Sunday, only a few pop up downpours in the afternoon. Our real chance for rain over the next seven days is going to come Tuesday through Thursday of next week when scattered showers and storms will keep our temperatures only in the 80s for highs and giving us a potential for pockets of one to two inches of rainfall through the end of July. That is very impressive to me. Very nice for July. My goodness. So it continues. So it continues. Yeah. All right. That is it for us here on the News at Noon. SA Live starts right now. And today on SA Live, the Olympics start next week, and we chat with a local athlete that who will be competing in judo. Plus, we make a Southeast Asian recipe with a local restaurant that's getting a new space right here in town. And it is a Get Fit Friday. We use just some simple boxing moves that anyone can do to get fit. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from Historic Market Square. This is SA Live. It is a big weekend down here at Market Square because the Tejano Music Awards Summer Fan Fair is happening right down here. So if you hear a lot of great music during the show, it's not us singing or performing. It's out there. And a lot of, boy, there's a ton of folks down here already <laughs> at 1 o'clock on a Friday afternoon. It's a beautiful day. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Mike Osterhage. And I'm Fiona Gorstiza. Well, all the way from the Magic Castle in Hollywood, a magical entertainer. Oh, yes, indeed. And David Kobach joins us for some laughs and music. He is in town right now. Look at, oh, hey, you're pretty good at that juggling. He was just trying to teach me some juggling before the uh, show. You got quite an act going on right there. Good afternoon, first of all. Welcome to San Antonio. First well, time here? Thank you so much, Mike. Yeah, it's my first time here. And thank yes. you to you, Fiona. Yes. Okay, so you like to combine a little bit of comedy with your, your magic? I do, yes. I like comedy and magic. I think it's a good combination. And let me give you an example. Is okay. now a good time? Yes, yes it Excellent. is. Excellent. There's as much time now as there ever was. <laughs> so, there are more important things in life than money, uh, but they're expensive. <laughs> if I were to say to you, big money or small, which do you prefer? Uh, Fiona, you can watch this one too, okay? Big okay. money or small? Uh, big. Okay, so this is what's called close-up magic, and they say that because it happens close up. So, I will remove the big, but you know, I'll do so without ever even opening the bag. Transparency, right? You can't <laughs> fool anybody without their permission, but I will not lie to you. We have here two coins, a big what? and a small, and all the evidence wow. should be examinable here today. Go ahead, that's for you. Okay. I'm a gift giver, it's my love language. <laughs> is, it, is it real? Yes. Yeah, yeah, well, in illusion, <laughs> He's still well, trying to figure it don't out. Don't look at me, I'm looking at you. <laughs> now, an illusion, this is very important, isn't something that doesn't exist. It's something that isn't quite what it seems to be. Okay. Would you, would you, uh, is now a good time for another example? Yeah, okay, sure. let's do good. it. Uh, surely you recognize these, right? Yes. Rubber bands. <laughs> <laughs> and this, this, by the way, is magic with office supplies. That's for you. Put it in your pocket. Oh, yeah, it's the you. cheapest yeah. magic you can find. I've never been paid for being He's on so my own show before. And, so. and not even Houdini. <laughs> why I oughta, but I won't. Okay, here I go. Not even Houdini could get out of this one, right? Houdini was an escapologist, an escape artist. So now I must escape from myself, and I can't go through the center or the sides. But if I do a little magic on good days, like today, I melt one right through. Wow. There's that look again. I know, they, I know. He's, he loves They magic. say the most important thing you wear is your expression. Would you like to, should we do it again? Okay, okay yes. You're yes. not supposed to do it again. Take this okay. rubber band okay. and just hold it outstretched like so. Yeah. All right. Now, you're okay. not supposed to repeat a trick, but just hold it like this toward me, just about like this. And okay. this way, if we angle it, they can see oh, it home. Okay. All right. Now, my rubber band is on your side, you see? Right. So I must escape. This is called Escape from Mike. Are you ready? <laughs> okay. You've thought that many times. I, 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 I can't go this way. I can't go through the center. But Mike, if I do a little magic on good days like today, <laughs> I, melt, 
I told you amazing things happen every day. Now let go. He didn't <laughs> snap me, which is very nice. Some people, you know, they just snap me. Okay. So uh, here, this is my okay. gift to you. Thank you. That doesn't seem like it's Thank as good you. of a gift, though. Okay. Do, do we have time for one more? Yes, we got, okay. we got time for Now, one. when we first appeared, uh -huh. I was I was attempting something called the hands of time. Okay. And I call it this because I build a clock out of these playing cards here, and it's sort of round and sort of square. But uh, the idea is, if we could stop time, then no objects would move through space. So let's see how many we have here. Just the perfect amount. One, two, and. Three. Now, it, it doesn't last long. Okay, so when you say fall, you haven't gotten help yet, right? No. So when you say fall, that's precisely what will happen. Fall. It's, well, now, wait a minute. Oh. You could have made it. <laughs> we, we don't want that. that. Because, you know, sometimes people's telekinetic abilities are very keen. You almost made okay. it fall. Okay. So you've got to be concentrating okay. on the cards. Okay. That would have been funny if you fell. Okay. Next time. Anyhow, right. so when you say fall, that's precisely what will happen. But wait for it. Okay. okay. Yeah, whenever you're ready. Well, now, now you have. Now you're just taking well, too much I, time. Now I'm afraid to say it too soon. Okay, That's is okay. it ready? No, you're, you're, Do I say it? Three. You're a good crowd. Should I wish I, I had a better act. <laughs> Should I count it? Okay, down? You, yeah, just go ahead. Okay, say three, it together. Say it together. Three, two, one. Fall. And so they do. Wow. And make sure there's no glue. HFT. High five time. No glue. Okay, very good. And by okay. the way, before yeah. the show. I asked you yes. to place the thought of an animal inside your brain. I, did you do that? Yes, I did. Okay, and okay. It's, a, it's a nice animal. <laughs> but now, she didn't write it down, and you didn't give me any hints. You didn't act it out and make any noises, correct? No. What was your animal? It was a bird. <laughs> <laughs> a bird? A bird. Okay, and the only person that could have known uh -huh. that you like birds is you. Is that correct? Right. Okay. Okay. That's the trick. No, anyway, <laughs> I'm going to give you this. I'm a gift giver, as I say. This is a postcard. It's a guy balancing his, his hat, but, but it gets worse. I actually drew a picture of my uh, favorite animal, my lucky animal, no. which just happens to be a bird. No way! No. Was that really your animal? Yes! HFT high five time. Thank you very much. We'll be at the Magician's Agency yes. Theater. Yeah, this is for you. Oh, thank you. I so have 5,000 of those postcards. Don't send it to me. So Magician's <laughs> Agency Theater, we have shows tonight at 7. Uh, the shows are at 2 and 7 on Saturday, and then again on Sunday at 2 p.m. So bring a friend. It's romantic. Bring a date. Oh. You could bring a family. Magic is romantic? I've never heard that I before. think so, yes. There are not only good questions in life, Mike, but also genuine mysteries. <laughs> hey, and by the way, David is very famous because you're yeah. on the cover of what you is... You had I mean, to go and mention that. Yes, yes there's a, oh, wow. Dusty here yeah. is there, well, there, Fana Whiting well, this, this is. I can't hold Thank my you, own Dusty. magazine. Here you hold okay. it. Okay. Um, we'll, we'll Jeannie, like for the conjurers out there and the puzzle enthusiasts and the jugglers and the mind readers, Jeannie has actually been around since 1936. And so uh, it was a great year, the beginning of the year. They said, hey, we'll, we'll do a, a story about the modern-day vaudevillian. So anyhow, thank you for bringing that up. And your wife does a little bit of magic, too, right? She does, yes. Uh-huh. <laughs> yep. We used to say one artist per family. That is no longer the rule. <laughs> so yes, everybody should do a little magic. I concur. Well, they, again, Dave's going to be in town for a couple of weeks there at the yeah. Magician's Agency. And uh, stop so by. Check them out. So. You should stop by. You too. Yes. That's fantastic. Bring your bird. <laughs> All right, once again, of course, uh, starting tonight through Sunday at the Magician's Agency Theater located in downtown. David Kovac will be performing there through July 25th. More shows may be added before he heads back to L.A., so check online for times and tickets. And don't forget, you will receive 10% off your tickets when you use the promo code SALIVE, all one word, and we have a link to their website. Just go to our website, SALIVE.com, and click on the As Seen on SALIVE tab. Okay, so mm -hmm. David likes to use comedy yeah. in his magic routine, mm -hmm. and that made us thinking, who makes you laugh? Yeah. Who makes you laugh, David? Who and makes life? me laugh? Actually, it is my wife. <laughs> she, make, no, she, 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 she makes me laugh pretty much every day. And so uh, I'm not sure uh, what the secret to success in marriage is, but I suspect it's all who you know. <laughs> <laughs> the laughter is the best part yeah. of Yes, it is. I would say Sloan, my two-year-old. Oh. I mean, she's <gasps> hysterical. <laughs> Obviously. A two-year-old? Yeah. Yes, okay. a two-year-old. Uh, I'm going to go with our assistant news director, Mario. Oh, he yes. always, I mean, some of the funniest lines that guy will post <laughs> online. So I think this calls for a party. <laughs> I think this calls for a party. Magic, juggling. Yes. Yes, mm -hmm. and jokes. Yes. Hey, why not? <laughs> so and we've got food over here, yes. too, and there's booze out there. Oh so my we're gosh, all a party together. outside, exactly. It's Who so makes you know. laugh? Let us know on uh, Facebook and Instagram and everything else, and we'll try and get to your answers a little bit later on in the show. Well, of course, we are now one week away from the Olympics, the actually 2020 Olympics this uh, summer in Tokyo, and one San Antonio resident is on her way to Japan, the oldest American 
Joe Duca in history to represent her sport. Yes, Nina Kutro Kelly has waited for this chance to showcase all her years of training in judo, and of course, this is her year. Jen Tobias Strusky has more. The fifth time's a charm, but you know, it's been 20 years I've been trying to make an Olympic team, so it's you know, it's pretty rewarding just to feel that like I finally met, met my last goal in judo was to make the Olympic team. And I was always really, really close to making the team and things always happen. Like, and yeah, I just, sometimes I wasn't good enough, sometimes I got hurt, sometimes there were just, you know, political complications. Nina Kutro Kelly is making history. So um, I suspected that I might be the oldest person, the uh, oldest American to ever make a judo Olympic team. Um, but we actually had to like calculate it down to the day because a woman in 2004, she was like 20 days younger than me when she fought in the Olympics. So people have gotten close, but I'm officially the oldest uh, American that ever fought in the Olympics for judo. It's a sport that came natural to Nina as a child who needed this competitive outlet. So I actually was uh, seven years old in Albany, New York, and um, I got kicked out of ballet, art class, and I think t-ball um, from the age of four up until that point. And finally, my father was like, you know what, maybe Jito, like she won't get in trouble for being a little too rough. And being, you know, a little maniac. And so he took me to his club and I started doing judo there. And I did it recreationally, you know, just once a week with my dad. Then when I was 14, I went to a local tournament and um, I lost to a girl who was a lot like smaller than me, um, who happened to be coached by my current coach, Jim Herbeck, who runs Universal Judo. So uh, he ended up uh, being like, oh, hey, like he asked me a few questions about myself and I found out where the club was. And so that's when I changed clubs uh, in Albany, New York, and then that club moved down here uh, to San Antonio in 2006. And so since then, um, I fought in France, like I trained in France for about eight years, but uh, my home base has been San Antonio since 2006. 20 years of training and patience, so surely Nina was not going to let the pandemic stop her training. When COVID first started, um, the places I was working at, my gym shut down, and so did um, my uh, judo club. And I'm fortunate enough that I have a roommate that does uh, judo with me, and I had some mats in my garage. And so we just, I started changing up my training. I was running, I was lifting at home in my garage, I was doing judo in my garage. And then I actually started doing, you know, more, as the gym started to reopen, I started doing, you know, private lessons here at Echo fitness um, and that was really awesome and also what was really cool was that um, I was able to like, share a sport that I really loved with people that were happy to learn it. With that mindset and determination it's no wonder she's headed to Japan and training is non-stop. We are training with no, no AC at this point um, at my home club uh, in Universal and uh, the idea is that it's going to be pretty hot and muggy in Japan and they don't air condition the way we do. And so we really need to be prepared for it to be hot and muggy, which is not the worst. It could be really cold, which would be worse for me, um, but we definitely have to be prepared for, you know, heat and humidity. The weather is one factor to consider, but Nina's weight class brings other challenges. Judo has seven weight classes for women and seven for men. Uh, the unique part of my weight class is that it's unlimited. So the weight class under me stops at 170 two pounds the weight class under that stops at 154 pounds mine is over 172 pounds unlimited and so you know I might weigh 210 pounds or something like that but I could fight a girl who weighs 410 pounds and this has happened okay so it becomes a very different um, game strategically and technically because you know you're half the size of somebody at some point now it's time to put all that training to the test. A sport that lit a fire in Nina as a child is now something she gets to share with the world. I'm really like, grateful for the opportunity to you know, talk about judo and let the whole city know about judo because um, it's an it's a awesome sport. It's a, a great form of self-defense, getting in shape, and uh, it's you know, made my whole life better. For Reze Live, I'm Jen Tobias Strusky.
That's so oh, cool going to the Olympics. Right? Wishing her the best of luck. For more on Universal Judo and to follow Nina Kutro Kelly on social media, just head to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live. And again, best of luck representing right. the USA in the Olympics. Hey, later on in the show, we're making Southeast Asian cuisine with a local restaurant. Hey, that's opening up a new location. And next, step into the workout ring and get fit with a few boxing moves. <laughs> All right, it is a Get Fit Friday, and there is more than one way to get in shape. Today, we're going to try some simple boxing moves with that gentleman right there. Joseph Brooks of Next Level per Personal Training shows us how to fit in the box. And Fiona is getting her microphone oh, on right now. And, yeah, okay. And the interesting thing about it, because she changed into to workout gear, yes. and I've still got street clothes on, but this is something that you can do just maybe in your lunch break or something, Exactly, right? you can do it on your lunch break, full suit, if you want to. You can do whatever your athletic wear, whatever you have on, you can do it. Yeah. There you go, oh, yeah, that's yeah, it, yeah. welcome. Okay, that's, that's a fast change, y'all. <laughs> that's good, that's good. So, boxing moves, mm -hmm. what are we, not hitting a heavy bag or anything like that? No. Right? We aren't hitting the heavy bag, we aren't sparring, we aren't doing anything like this. This is just range of motion exercises that you can do to strengthen your core, your back, your arms, total body workout without building up a sweat. Okay, okay. without building start? up a sweat. Well, well, I don't know, sweat. we might sweat. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's the first thing? All right, doing? first thing we want to do is we want to stretch okay. because before you start any exercise, you want to begin stretching to get the blood flow going. So we can do a hand hand stretch, you want to lock your fingers, push towards the ceiling, and just breathe normally. You want to hold that for about 15 seconds and release the tension in your neck and your back. You can even do this when you're at work. A lot of people are at home, they're sitting at their desk. Just hold your arms I was going to say, because tension in the neck, at a computer all the time, I'm always, you know, getting that, that tight exactly. neck, so this will help out? Okay. This will help out, and then we'll bring it forward and just curl your back, almost like a cat. Just curl okay. and push forward. This is another one you can do at your desk. Just stretch out that back and neck, and then we'll bring it down. You want to hold these for about 15 seconds. We'll just push towards the floor, and when that you come up, good. come up nice, nice and slow. If you come up too fast, your blood won't reach your head, and you'll get a little dizzy. dizzy. And then just bring your arm over, chest, and hold it in, just like you're hugging yourself. We all need a hug one day, right? And we'll switch. And you're ready. You ready to box a little bit? Yeah, let's do all it. Right. Okay. So what we want to start off with is your upper body. We're just going to bend the knees, feet shoulder width apart, and make sure you suck in your tummy. Shoulders are back. That's a lot. Up. That's a lot, Joe. <laughs> <All right. laughs> and breathe normally at the same time. <laughs> And we're just going to cross over right here. Don't over exaggerate the move. So, meaning, don't cross all the okay. way over because you will hurt your back. Okay. So, you want to make sure just punch right okay. here, 15. And if you're a beginner, one set, 15 repetitions, and that's it. You want to work up to three sets of 15 repetitions. And once you finish those out, we're going to do an uppercut, okay? Do not try this on your spouse. <laughs> want to take it up right here, just cross over, keep your tummy tight, there you go, we're all in unison, there you go, good, 15 here again. I have to remember to breathe. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 well, I, I, are you feeling this a little bit? Breathe. You keep that tummy tight, there you go, 15 again, and now we're going to combine the two, make it a little fun, okay, we're going to do a combination. So we'll cross, cross, and uppercut. And then we can also add in legs to that too. That's right? right. Those legs are coming in. So what we're going to do now is a leg lift, lift, cross, cross. Okay. okay. Lift, lift, cross, cross. And this is good for especially older folks too, because mm -hmm. you can start off very slow. You're not trying to knock anybody out. Exactly. Like that, but That's just right. to, and and keep the muscle tone there. Help with the the bone the bones. Structure exactly. Well, because well. ultimately, what we want to do is once you sit down as a senior or anyone, you want to be able to get up. 
So these exercises will help build that bone density. And you specialize in senior fitness. Yes, I do. I'm a senior myself, 53 <laughs> years old. Yes. I don't believe it. <laughs> well, and if you'd like to contact him, more information on Joseph Brooks and Next Level Personal Training, head over to SALive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Always a pleasure to see you, sir. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Hey, still ahead, Pinch Ball House is here to make a Vietnamese recipe that's perfect for summer and we're going to talk about the new location in Alamo Heights. And give your kids an early advantage in life by sending them to a dual language school. Details are next. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, it was recently named one of the best Catholic schools in America, and now it's enrolling kids starting at age three for full day school. Joining us today is William Bailey, who is the principal of St. Mary Magdalene Dual Language School. Good afternoon, good Thanks to see you. Thanks for having me. And one of the best Catholic schools in America. Congratulations Thank on you. that. So the only dual language Catholic school in town, you start them young, uh, how does that help students? Well, I think what we like to say is the, the earlier, the, the easier. And especially learning a language, um, it, it, it just kind of comes naturally to students. Um, even if they're one, two years old, certainly at three years old, it comes really naturally. And over the long term, that really leads to not just bilingualism, but native level fluency, ability to converse, and then also academic proficiency. Because as we were talking about, and everybody knows if you had little kids, they are literally sponges and they can soak it up. And physiologically, it's easier to learn a second language for little ones like that. Right? Exactly, and I think some parents get nervous about you know, throwing their, their child in if they don't speak the second language, but what we found in 10 years of doing this is that uh, students really do take it to it naturally and they, they love learning a new language. And you said this is not just basically glorified daycare. You really focus on the academics and you partner up with UIW too. Correct, so we are definitely not a daycare. We're a school, they're as much, you know, our pre-K program is as much a part of the school as any other and partnerships with universities like UIW really help to instill that. And we, what we like to say is that we're uh, like a pre-K to PhD pipeline because of that connection to UIW and all the, the different services and experiences from artistic to athletic to academic that they can give to our students. Elaborate on the pipeline because eighth graders then can step right into it, right? Yes, so the UIW system also has high school, St. Anthony's High School and then Incarnate Word High School. And so our students uh, get uh, automatic admission to those schools and they also get uh, scholarships automatically upon graduating from our school. That's fantastic. I mean, it to is. have that all planned out with those very good schools. So um, in-person learning all year last year, which is right. obviously fantastic for the kids, and right. this year, but then of course there is some concern with all the, the safety measures. Correct, and I think what I would say is we're prepared for uh, whatever comes comes our way. If, if we're, we go back somewhat to, to normal, um, we're ready for that. But this past year, you know, beginning in, in this time last year, we were, you know, teachers were back on campus preparing in, in July of 2020, and so we're ready for in-person learning and taking whatever safety precautions we need to take. Um, but we're also bringing in some uh, more activities for interaction like after-school clubs, and we have a partnership uh, with San Antonio Mariachi Academy too. So bringing in um, some of those activities that we maybe were a little shy about uh, last year. How do parents sign up? So they go to our website is the best way, stmmsa.org. And there's a button that you'll see on the homepage. It says apply and request a tour. It's a really simple process. Probably takes a minute to two minutes to fill out. And then you come take a tour, see if it's a right fit for you. And uh, hopefully you'll become a maverick at St. Mary Magdalene Dual Language School. And as long as they're three by September 1st? Correct. They can start. So actually a two-year-old can, can start school. That is correct. Yes, okay. exactly. So right. we welcome two year olds as well as long as they're, they're three by September 1st. All right, well, if you'd like more information on St. Mary Magdalene and Dual Language School, call 210-735-1381 or visit the website stmmsa.org. We have a great chat with you. Good seeing you, Great sir. seeing you. Thank you. All right, still ahead, a sneak peek at a brand new episode of Texas Eats with, of course, the man with the appetite, David Elder. And we are making a summer Southeast Asian recipe with Pinch Boil House and more about the new location that's going to be opening up. 
Welcome back to SA Live. Well, joining us for a summer Asian-inspired recipe is co-owner of Pinch Boil House, Sean Wen. Welcome, Good welcome. Thank you for having me back. All right, so we are making that incredible dish today, the Vietnamese noodle salad. Is it a common Southeast Asian recipe? It's a pretty common recipe in Vietnam. I think we've, we've made it a, a tad bit more contemporary. Um, but yeah, a lot of people eat this. And you said the secret to it is the, the dressing that goes on it, which right. is what? What makes this, what makes Vietnamese food so unique? I think one of the biggest things is like Southeast Asian food likes to kind of mix the idea of funk with fresh, with crunch, so a bunch of different textures and flavors. And so this one particularly has fish sauce, or well, equal parts fish sauce, water, and lime, so a little mm -hmm. citrus kick some garlic, and then of course if it's Southeast Asian, you gotta have a little bit of spice to that. Okay, oh, we yeah. have got two spices here. Mm -hmm. One is the Scottish them. flakes, and yeah. one is... We got one, the, the mean looking one, that's gonna be like the Thai chili, the, the, and Ooh. then the, to the, the other side of that is gonna be a chili flakes. So okay. it kinda just depends on, you know, what you want. How do, how do we feel today, mean or? What? I say go mean. Go mean. How much of this? How mean Not are we getting Not a whole here? lot of mean. <laughs> Semi mean. Semi mean. Semi -mean. So maybe Semi that much? Or a little more? You could do like yeah. about half of what was in there. Yeah, and then okay. gave it a... Like your husband forgot to take out the trash mean. Just, just like that. <laughs> like that kind of mean. All, all, the, all, the, all the way then. <laughs> you know, <laughs> angry, but not really. Right, right. <laughs> it's a good description. Right. <laughs> okay. All right. Now to the salad. Okay, yes. so we've got the rice noodles in here, and rice noodles, I mean, they're so light, they're so airy, yes. they're great for summer. Yes, okay. what I love about it too is that this dish is served room temperature or chilled, and so it's just incredibly easy to make and serve and hold out, or you can leave it in the fridge and throw leftovers on it the next day. Is that mint? We got some mint in there, we got okay. some Thai basil, some cilantro. Some oh, wow. Cucumbers, oh, great flavors. onions, a little bit of red cabbage for color. Yeah, we'll mix it all up and then throw a little bit of that dressing in there. You can actually just throw it all in there. Toss all the dressing in? Throw it in. All right, there we go. Boom. There we go, and I'll mix this up. Now, what's wow. the story behind Pinch Boil House? Yeah, so Pinch Boil House is a, kind of a, a concept that my best friend and I had talked about for years. We grew up together in Houston. And so he's Vietnamese, and I would always go over to his house to eat crawfish. Ooh. Yeah, <laughs> Vietnamese style, kind of Viet Cajun crawfish. Oh, and that sounds really good. We would always joke like, we should open a crawfish shack one day. And so? And then you said you learned to cook from your mom though, right? I did, yeah. All right. yeah. Is that, when you cook for your mom now, is that It's tough anxious? to impress Asian moms. It sure is. <laughs> you know is. what I mean? <laughs> But I think I think I did all right. I think I did all right. Okay. Yeah. Has she ever tasted something, kind of raise an eyebrow a little bit there? Every, every time. Really? Every time. She'll ooh. taste them and be like, ooh, not enough salt? And I'm like, you're probably, she's probably right. <laughs> she's That's probably the thing, right. they're yeah. probably right. Yeah. And then you can eat it like this or top it off with some, some good yeah. uh, protein, right? We have, have some just, you know, you can have some chicken that you have left over that you want to use. Any protein you want, you can eat it just like that, like you said. I love eating grilled chicken on it because it's super fresh and keeps it kind of healthy. And you know, after working out, you guys had a little workout. Totally. Yeah. Keeps yeah. it healthy. We're, we're famished now. Yeah. So, all right, tell us about the new place because the current location is right downtown here, but you're opening up in Alamo Heights. Yeah, we're going to be opening up in Alamo Heights off of Broadway. Um, it'll be in that same Stewart Center with legends like Sorrento's Ooh. and Sattel's. And so. It's, it's super exciting for us to be part of that community. Down there on Broadway, just almost kind of kitty corner from, yeah. uh, from Central Market. Stone's there, throw so. from Central Market. When uh, are you gonna open up the doors there? When do you think we are sure. hoping for like a one, one and a half months from now. Okay. So, but you know, you know how construction goes. Well, mm. that's true. So, <laughs> and then uh, dine-in, carry-out. We got it all, yep. Dine-in, carry-out, you know, um, obviously, making sure we're following all sort of precautions mm -hmm. during this crazy time that we're living in. But okay. for sure, some dine-in and take-out. Now, did you have a favorite Vietnamese dish growing up? Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> so, um, so many. <laughs> a, a lot, yeah, yeah all of it. Mm -hmm. uh, my favorite one is actually, it's called Bun Bo Hue, uh -huh. which, which is, is like, a, it's a noodle soup. You know, there's more to Vietnamese food than pho. Right. But it's kind of like a thicker, more hearty soup. And um, it uses a different kind of noodle as well, a little bit fatter than like the little vermicelli noodles. It's incredible. Great light, yeah. cool dish Golly, for summer, yeah. for lunch or dinner. Thank if you. If you'd like more information about Pinch Boil House, head over to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab.
Next on the show, Texas Eats give us a sneak peek at some of the foodie hotspots you'll want to visit this summer. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, Texas Eats is taking us to Chicago without ever leaving the Alamo City. I'm in engrossed just watching this dog make, oh my mm -hmm. goodness. Mm -hmm. Oh, what's going on? Okay, here, let me read. Chicago mm -hmm. Hot Dogs is going to open up a new San Antonio location. David Elder heads over to the inside their kitchen to see how, ooh, the Italian beef, that's what was going on there, is yes. made from scratch. Yes. You guys, Amado's with me. We're here in the kitchen at Chicago Hot Dogs. This right here is the Italian beef before it gets shredded up. This is what it looks like right when it comes out of the oven. This is all shaved up. This is actually a really good yield from all that. I mean, that's a lot of meat, but this is like step one of like step 10. There's a lot more stuff that goes There's into making this stuff, sandwich. Yeah. Plus we're gonna try different items on the menu. I'm super excited. You ready to do it? Ready. Let's do it, Let's man. do it. Now it's time for my favorite part. Amado, you've made all this food out here. You guys are rocking it out. I mean, even during lunchtime, you guys are just killing it. You guys are a very efficient team out here. I'm gonna start with this one. This is the Italian beef sausage combo sandwich. Yes. And this is nuts. I mean, it's dipped, it's ready to rock. So it's all juicy, and look how big this thing is. That's a sandwich. <laughs> That's the bite. That was game over. <laughs> game over. This sandwich was worth the wait. This bite alone is the reason why I'd come back. You can watch a full hour of Texas Eats tomorrow at 10 a.m. right here on KSAT 12. I want one of those dogs. Hey, next on SA Live, how you can enter to win a $10,000 upgrade to your bath or shower. But right now, KSAT local expert John Wayne Service Company shows us how to tell if your AC system is too small for your home. Hi, I'm Matt with John Wayne Service Company. Today we're installing a new comfort system for our customers here in New Braunfels. Let's check it out. So the main problem that we had uh, in this house is that the system was actually undersized. So it's actually not a problem that we see very often in homes, um, but the system was struggling to maintain temperature in the house because of it being undersized. So we made sure to install a properly sized system for this homeowner, and uh, it should really help the efficiency of this house. So this job entails removing the entire old system, inside and outside. And then replacing the air handler. Replacing the outdoor unit. We're also installing improved filtration. Uh, we also are clearing the drain out for the system to make sure it performs normally. We're uh, replacing electrical disconnects and breakers for the unit. We're also installing a smart thermostat on the system as well. This is a smaller job. Um, as you can see, the unit's in a closet. The outside unit's right here next to the driveway. It makes it easy. Uh, so this job should probably take about six hours for the entire install. Again, my name is Matt with John Wayne Service Company, and if you think you can benefit from our services, or if you've been thinking about replacing a comfort system in your home, please give us a call or visit johnwayne.com. Well, if you're upgrading your home right now, this place has you covered on everything from bathroom to your windows. Window Expo and Bath Expo are now Expo Home Improvement. And here to tell us more is Director of Marketing, Amanda McDaniel. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. All right, what led to the rebrand? Let's start with that. Yeah, absolutely. Well, Bath Expo and Window Expo have been around since 2006. Um, so we have been a staple here in Texas, but we kept thinking to ourselves, we had two websites. 
uh, two places for people to go. And we're like, you know what? We just want to come together in one unified brand. Um, that is Expo Home Improvement. It just makes it a better experience. You can go to one website. You can see all the products that we have to offer, learn about our amazing team, the quality of products that we have. It just makes it easier for the customer to find us and get exactly what they need. So combining forces there, tell us what Expo Home Improvement has to offer. Absolutely. So we specialize in bathroom remodels. So that bath or shower um, that maybe needs to be updated or maybe you need a safety upgrade. Uh, maybe you're getting ready for someone to, to move into a guest room or uh, we can come in there. We can take out that old existing bath or shower and turn it into something beautiful that is clean, easy to maintain and enjoy. We also have window replacement. We have windows that were specifically designed just for Texas, what we need. And we have been um, doing window replacement since 2006. We have a great option for that, as well as doors, siding, and insulation. So if someone wants to have you guys come out, how can they schedule an appointment? Oh, that's so easy. Go to our one new website, expohomeimprovement.com. And there are multiple ways. You can chat with someone, you can text with someone. You can also look at our um, online calendar, schedule your appointment yourself, or fill out a form if you just wanna have more questions about us. Super easy, expohomeimprovement.com is the place to go. And you have a sweepstakes going on right now. Tell us we, what folks can win and how they can enter. We do, in honor of our new logo with the heart. The heart is at the center of all we do. We want you to love your shower again. Uh, so we're having a love your shower sweepstakes. Um, and you can go straight to our website, expohomeimprovement.com. And about halfway down, there's a big logo that says $10,000 towards your bath, bath or shower remodel. Enter, it's free, no obligation. Enter, because we're gonna be pulling a lucky uh, name on August 16th. Uh, and we are really excited. You'll be able to follow us on website and social for that drawing. So go there today and fill it out. All right, Amanda McDaniel, thank you so much for your time. For more information or to book an appointment with Expo Home Improvement, just call 800-980-3976. That's 800-980-3976 or visit expohomeimprovement.com. Monday in SA Lab, we're bringing the circus to Market Square at Encore Performance from the incredibly talented Aqua Acro. Plus, an easy and tasty recipe for summer. We're making pork sliders. That's Monday at 1, right here on SA Live. Never miss an episode of SA Live. Watch live or when you want on the KSAT TV app on these devices. SA Live streaming for free on KSAT TV. All right, earlier we asked you, who in your life makes you laugh? Who's the funniest? And Megan says, my husband, he makes me laugh. Oh. And Lisa Ann says, the whole team for SA Live is funny and great to watch. Much love and respect for you guys. Well, thank you so much, Lisa Ann. And this, this is one of those great to watch moments, at least for me, is Mike continuing to practice his juggling. This is all he's been doing every commercial break, folks. Comedian so, David Kovac tried to let's teach see. me and Scott. Let's see. Scott, have you okay, gotten any nervous. better? Don't, don't no, not, I won't look. I'm not looking. Is it happening? Wait, 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 is he wait, juggling? Wait. No, no, it's no. Throw, you, okay, throw, I won't look. Throw. God darn it. Okay. Oh, well, throw, have a good throw, weekend, throw. everybody. Catch it. Ha! Did it. Ah!